Oh yeah, here's my official sanitizing station. Need to look out and see whether the neighbor's having another deck party. And uh, I made myself a mixture of Ajax triple action antibacterial with uh, isopropyl alcohol. And, and as I'd use the Ajax, I'd pour my alcohol in. And right now it's at about either 15 or 20% per volume alcohol. Yeah, I like, I like Dr. Fossey. He reminds me of a scientist from a 1950s science fiction movie. Good authority figure. And again, none of this is any bad on the vendor. Just don't know where the box has been. And I've already removed the gloves and washed my hands with my sanitizer before even getting to look at this beautiful, oh, they're incredible. Alf. Moon Base Alpha. New Core. $1.39 plus tax if applicable. Created in Hong Kong. New Core Incorporated, Dina, Minnesota. I'll have to look them up. There's even a, a part number. Hook number three to four, so. Apparently it was maybe part of a display and of course there's swap it style spacemen in what appears to be the Mark's Toys configuration of pod feet with painted packs. Yeah, and there's no certainly no Mark's logo on it. We'll never open it. It's gonna stay sealed. I'm gonna wrap it up in uh, I guess uh, acid free LP record bag and find a place for it on the oval wall here's more uh, factory sealed swap it's the same base explorer set which is a made in China on it three swap it spacemen a friction drive flying saucer and a a, a, a pressure gun or whatever it's called and here's more sealed swap it's it's like I got sealed swap it's you know never open them the girls come over and see my sealed swap it's got a bottle of wine that's when I just thought I'd show that that was a whole that was another reason why I wanted to arrange the oval wall was to be able to Stare at that. We did some rearranging. So I've got sealed swampets. How about that? How cool and sexy is that? And I appreciate our kind vendor coughing them up. Package is in great shape. That's to be expected. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, no, well, it's bigger than that. Or, or that one's bigger than it, and so is that, but I reckon. So, we'll, we'll get back to quarantine. We're having Instacart drama today. Alright, so here they are up on the oval wall. Next to the uh, Made in China batch. Uh, wrapped in a, uh, a gallon freezer bag. For now, it's a little bit wrinkly. It's an older bag, but it's protected and that that's what's important and i'm i'm thinking about the age of it and and there's a couple of hints number one there's no barcode number two moon base alpha well that that's space 1999 isn't it 1976 i think was the year that it premiered 1977 might have been 1975 i don't know um, I remember it from when I was nine or ten years old. We, it was on a, it wasn't on a, it was on a school night, so I, th I think so. We weren't really allowed to watch it, so my connection to it isn't that deep. And when I was looking at it, I wasn't thinking, oh yeah, Moonbase Alpha, uh, Space 1999, as as many fans probably are. So late 1970s, pre-barcode era. I know that by 1984. Or so everything had a barcode on it and there's none on the front or the back 
uh, typography in, in places is, is sort of modern. But I, I, I mean, why call it Moonbase Alpha unless there's a reason to cash in on it? You know what I mean? Those Hong Kong buggers over there selling other people's intellectual property, which is essentially what these are. These are Mark Swapits. Now, that there, there's another uh, a question here. Here down on the shelf, I've been looking at this guy last night. I want to compare my rope and triangle guys, as I call them. And, and he's an example of a Hong Kong made swap it. I don't think he has any markings on him, but you can see how his equipment pack is, is not painted. There's no paint on it. This one has an, uh, the, these guys had painted equipment packs and painted rifles. I didn't get out of swap a Mark's guy right now. I, you know, you can only think of so much, but the, the traits that I've heard that are, that are consistent with the, with the Mark's made swap, it's her equipment painted, Painted equipment packs that are cast in a, in, a, in a rubber material and pod feet and then the, the, the bodies of them themselves are not army man plastic like this guy is here. This guy's just standard army man plastic. The marks are usually in a, in, a, in a vinyl type material and of course they're sealed so I can't really examine uh, what they are but I, it's impossible to miss that they have the equipment painted the painted equipment packs and there's a painted rifle and they've got the semi-painted boots and feet that guy's got no paint on him anywhere so are these leftover marks swap it that, that that got sold in bulk to whoever Nucor over there in adena minnesota and figure out why they were peddling mark style swap it spacemen and see if there's any indication of their lifeline and when when they may have been in business or not but yeah late 1970s 1978 1979 um, I don't think it's any older than 1984 because there's no barcode on it and everything was barcoded by then I worked many years in a grocery store 20 years I worked in a grocery store so 22 in total as a matter of fact for uh, at different times and that was during the 1980s, and there was a definitely a, a, a point when everything started being scanned uh, for, for check, not just for checkout, but for inventory. It wasn't just to, to keep the price straight, it was to keep inventory straight as well. And so this has no barcode on it at all. It would have been rung in by hand at $1.39, and that sounds like late mid to late 1970s as a price too, which is consistent with Moonbase Alpha Space 1999 ripoff. Let's swap it, guys. What did that have to do with Space 1999? So here's the oval wall as redesigned. It's all sealed mint on card, space toy stock, except for the Pan Am bag. That was something we got as a kid astronaut vanilla ice cream sandwich from my uncle stocking stuff for one year I won't open it Apollo moon exploring golden astronaut with the launch site down there or lunch site was, I've typed it a couple of times by accident Pongs and the uh, moon base alpha set Anything for a buck, right, guys? Just thought I'd show off how it ended up.